Thanks for joining us. Today, I'm going to teach you how to wind in threads when you're done with your um, knitting or crochet project. Um, what you wanna do is, if you have a seam somewhere, you're going to want to take your threaded tapestry needle and wind it in and out of your seam. Um, I like to do, for an adult sweater or garment, I like to do three or four in one direction, and you're just going in and out of the seam. And then come back doing one or two, um, maybe even three going in the opposite direction. If it's a child, I like to do six or eight going down and um, three or four coming back up just because they're harder on clothes. Um, now, here's a problem right here. This is where I had to add on a ball of yarn. Now, this is a raglan, so it's all in one piece. Um, so one of the places I like to add my yarn is under the armpit because you don't see it as much. Um, I absolutely do not like to add them on the front and I don't really love to put them on the back. Um, and the sleeve, it usually, if I put it on the sleeve, it'll be in the middle on the shoulder and it'll show. So this is one of my favorite places to add is right here underneath the arm um, where a seam would be if you had a seam. Um, another place I like to add if it's a raglan is I like to add it right here in the raglan seaming um, because you can kind of hide it in, the, especially with this this is a seed stitch, but even if it's not a seed stitch, you can hide it in there pretty well. Okay, so here's one that is um, just plain stocking up. And all I'm going to do is take my yarn, thread my needle, and I'm going to follow up from there the next purl stitch up. This is on the wrong side. I'm going to go up another one. And then I'm going to go in and out of each purl stitch on a single row three or four times. I hope you can see this, it's kind of small. But three or four times, don't pull it real tight, then go the opposite direction, two or three. And then cut my thread. I think I need some sharper scissors. So this is, it's a tedious job. It is not a hard job. It's just tedious is all it is. Um, it's not everyone's favorite, but that is a completed um, winding in of a thread that is not in a seam. Again, in a seam, make sure you just put it in the seam. That's the best place for it. It will not show. Speaking of seams, I want you to see this seam. When you use the type of, um, of um, construction that I just did, do you see how minimal that seam is? That is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Very, very, very little. Um, even people with sensitivities don't, this doesn't bother them as much. So thanks for joining us. Make sure you like our Facebook page at Knit Happens. Knit Happens is with a Z. Also, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Knit Happens with a Z, and um, find us in Birmingham, Alabama. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.